Uncle Jerry Stewart here, and my beautiful wife, Kelly. She's the one that's always the faithfully holding the phone, the camera. Uh, you know, talking to people is uh, kind of a strange thing. Do you find times that you just really don't want to talk or say anything, and you just kind of go along quietly? And then you've got other times that you just really feel like you, you know, you have something to say. So Kelly and I, we're Christians, and as Christians, we believe in God, of course. We believe that God has a Holy Spirit, and that the Holy Spirit is dwelling inside of us. For those folks who aren't Christians, I know that sounds strange, but His Spirit, I guess the best way I could say it is that his spirit dwells with us, dwells in us, and gives us um, thoughts and ideas. And so I just, something just happened to us, and I thought it was worth uh, mentioning to all you folks. You know, there's so many people in our country today that have really, really good ideas, uh, good thoughts, they have good habits, they're not out making trouble, they're doing their job or their responsibility. They're tending to their home and to their family. And there's just so many good, honorable things that you are doing. So we were just in the doctor's office. It has nothing to do with my speaking. We were there in the doctor's office. And uh, as we were leaving, I just found myself started talking. I can only believe that the Holy Spirit, God, had something that he wanted me to say to these two young people that were working in the doctor's office. A young man, probably in his early 20s, young girl, early 20s. Of course, we all had our masks on, so uh, that makes it a little harder to communicate. But I found myself talking um, about how they encouraged me and they look at me like well, how, how sir how do I encourage you because you don't even really know me and so I explained to them that we spend probably too much time watching the news and listening to all of the negative words that come out from a lot of people I say a lot it seems like a lot when there's a big group, but, but people who are talking down our country, saying filthy, dirty, dirty things, and so many of them are young people, a lot of women, a lot of girls, and really just doing all of the things that make you wonder, is everybody that way? One of the uh, police officers was shot, and uh, the people were stand out, standing outside the hospital chanting, I hope you effing die. I hope you effing die. Can you believe that anybody would say that? And then walk out thinking that they're a good person and that they're uh, a positive force for our world after saying to people walking in and out of the hospital, that police officer that got shot, I hope he effing dies. So, if you're like me, when we see those things, honestly, it begins to make me wonder if that's our America of tomorrow. Is this going to be our America of tomorrow? That when we're all gone, and we love our America. We love our fellow man. That doesn't mean we always do the right thing. Sometimes we get mad. Sometimes we say things. Sometimes we're, uh, well, we just act sometimes not the best that we could act. If we're gone, and the people that become our leading America are the people that are looking at our law, law and order folks, looking at our president, looking at our leaders and saying, I hope you effing die. 
We got no hope, folks. We got no hope. So, when I'm in the doctor's office, and there's these two young folks, and both of them, uh, they were, uh, I could tell that they would have come from other countries. They had a little bit of an accent. And uh, there they are. They're always kind. They're always uh, cheerful. They're always respectful. They're always uh, just uh, listening, responding, and just, as I said before, just generally really respecting. And so I said to them, you give me hope. And they said, why do we give you hope? And I said, because you show me that the America of tomorrow is not going to be those people on the streets with bottles and fire and rocks that are saying they're glad the effing cop is going to die. Here's the point of my talk this morning. Encourage people. Encourage people. Try not to let the negative that you see on TV from a group of people, try not to let that make you so disheartened that you lose hope and therefore you don't spread hope. Let these young people that are doing the right thing, acting in the right way, being responsible, being lawful, being orderly, just being good folks, let's let them know that we see them. We see them and that they're good. You know, uh, Alexis de Tocqueville, way back when our country had just gotten a start, he was a uh, like a writer and a philosopher from France. And no one could understand from all of these countries that uh, were in Europe that had been around for thousands of years, they could not understand how America, this brand new country that was only maybe 60 years old, how in the world this country, America, that was still a baby, was just growing in power and popularity. He said, I've got to go see what it is that's making America be good and great. So he came to America, and before he said anything, he just spent time studying, traveling. He went to the national capital. He went to uh, the schools. He went to... Uh, various places where there were farmers and factories and he's looking for where the greatness of America comes from and then he visits the pulpits in the churches and he heard the message the message was be a good person ask God to help you to really make a difference in this country let's honor God with the way we act let's be a good good country when he finished, he wrote a book. And in the book, the quote that I remember is he said this. This is my conclusion. America is great because America is good. America is great because America is good. The people are good. And if America ever ceases to be good, America will no longer be great. Let us encourage our young folks to be good. Let us give them hope. Let us encourage them. Let us speak uh, proudly of them. Let us not lose the opportunity, no matter where you are, to take a moment and put in a good word for our young Americans who are going to be our leaders of tomorrow. I'm Jerry Stewart. I would love for you to go over to my website. It's www.jerrystewartusa.com. www.jerrystewartusa.com. 
and uh, give me your thoughts. Let me know what you think. And uh, keep tuning in. And, you know, I like encouragement too. So if you feel like saying something encouragement, let me know. If you don't agree with me, you can let me know. Just don't bring me any filthy language. You're not going to get anywhere with me by doing that. Let's all be respectful. Let's all seek God. You know, God is our way. Our founding fathers said straight out that without God, they would not be able to, they would not have been able to build our nation. Let us believe that. If you want some proofs or examples, let me know. I'll be glad to send you some text. God bless you. Jerry Stewart saying, see you next time.